report was submitted to Asahi President Masataka Watanabe. I once again extend my sincere apologies for causing a lot of trouble over the series of Asahi reports on those referred to as comfort women. In August, the Asahi retracted past articles which were based on accounts by Seiji Yoshida. In those articles, Yoshida testified he had taken Korean women away against their will to serve Japanese soldiers. A researcher published findings in 1992 that Yoshida's testimony was very dubious, but the paper continued to carry his accounts in articles. The panel pointed out that the Asahi remained passive, failing to send reporters to confirm the findings. It says the Asahi betrayed the trust of its readers and its actions should be criticized for violating journalistic ethics. The panel also questioned the Asahi's decision not to apologize to readers when retracting its reports. It said the paper failed in its role as a media organization and was irresponsible toward its readers. I'll take what the panel says in the report seriously. I also promise to press ahead with reforms in a bid to fundamentally remake the company. Watanabe said he'll hold a news conference on Friday to clarify his company's view.